Okay, so we have already looked at the idea of power, and today we are gonna look at it again with another way to think about power and think about the relationship. So what have we already learned about power? Well, we learned that power, remember, was the work that could be accomplished in that amount of time. So work per time. So if I can do a lot of work in a short amount of time, I have a lot of power. If I can do a lot of work, and the time's not bad, I might also have a lot of power. So the idea of how fast we can do work relates to power. Well, if we break down this relationship, we can actually get another way to look at power. So let's remind ourselves that work, remember, was the dot product between a force and a displacement. Okay, and we dissociated that dot, dot progress, product to be the force times the displacement times the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement is how we practically used that dot product. All right, well, now let's take that relationship and stick it in to the work. And we're just gonna look at the force in the same direction as the displacement. So a force applied along a displacement, the component of that force along the displacement. If I look at the power relationship with respect to work, I have the force times the displacement over time. Hmm, if I do a little bit of rearranging, then I get the force times the displacement over the amount of time. And what is that? Well, that is my speed or my velocity. Speed is the true dis distance over time. The velocity, remember, was our displacement per time. So another way to look at power is by looking at the force times the velocity. All right, so just another way we can think about power. Work per time is really our fundamental idea of power. So work per second, so I probably, we literally just make that a tr per time instead of the seconds. I don't know why I switched to a unit there. So we have work per time. We know that work is the force in the direction of the displacement. So force times the displacement, the one and we'll put that parallel in the direction of the displacement per time. So the force, displacement per time, and that's our velocity. So just another way that we can use different physical entities to identify other physical properties. So another way to look at power. Good job.